My guest today is Donna Freisinger, and she has a remarkable resume. She's a children's picture book author, she's a freelance magazine writer, an award-winning poet, and she's an ordained pastor. She has, for many, many years, been a teacher of the performing arts, and her book is Bink and Slinky's Ark Adventure. I am so honored to welcome you to the Speak Up Conference. Thank Thanks you. so much. Thank you, Carol. That's well, cool. what a resume you have. You, tell me, you've taught performing arts most of your life, and you use singing, dancing, and acting to present the gospel message. How did those doors open for you? My life changed when I made my high school dance team. Up to that point, I was a C student at the best. <laughs> and I love your honesty. Yes, a very, had very low self-esteem. I had, um, my father was an alcoholic. I had heard an old grandma grouchy lady say that her granddaughters couldn't play with me because my family was dirt. Oh. And so my, my self-esteem was very low. However, my best friend in high school drugged me to dance team tryouts one day, <laughs> pom-pom tryouts, and I made it and she didn't. God had other plans for her, wow. but it changed my life. I happened to be part of the best marching band in the state of Indiana at the time, and my band director made me work harder than I ever thought I could possibly work in my whole life. By my last few years in high school, I was making straight A's and um, have always wanted to do the same thing for other kids to build their self-esteem. To me, music is the most important most beautiful gift God's given us. Oh. It reaches down to touch our spirits and souls like nothing else can. So I, I, I sang from little on. I had voice lessons from starting from age six. Singing, dancing, acting have always been um, who I am. And I find that in writing, I can use the same skills to get um, to get to the heart of a story mm -hmm. as you would in uh, I guess the biggest compliment somebody can pay me, Ginger Kolbaba from Christianity Today, yes. when she for, she published my first article in Marriage Partnership, and and I gave her an article to read, and she came to me the next day. She said, Donna, I'm so glad I didn't put makeup on today because I was bawling like a baby. Oh. You had me right in the middle of the story. Well, you touch people's emotions with right. your writing, your speaking, and your performing. And I understand that your husband uh, is a band director, and how has he impacted your journey? Oh, Barry and I met in the Butler University marching band, where he was playing trumpet and I was playing pom-poms. And <laughs> we've been playing together ever <laughs> since. But You're a comedian, too. Yeah, well, <laughs> um, we have partnered together from, from day one to um, produce championship marching bands and dance mm -hmm. teams. And even to the point of um, we partnered together even in accepting Christ into our lives, which is uh, such a blessing. And most people don't have that blessing of coming oh. to Jesus at the same time. We knelt in our living room and prayed, Lord, please use us somehow. Mm -hmm. Never never knowing what we, was ahead of us, of course. And, uh, but, but in addition to that, we started a music ministry then mm -hmm. where we would go out and sing together and he would play trumpet and um, just continue to partner together in everything we did. We've never had children, but we've had been mom and dad to yes. lots of children over the years through our performing groups. And what led you to, to become a children's author? My sister, my kid sister is 21 years younger than me. She was born when I was a senior in college. Mm -hmm. So her kids have been like the grandkids that we never had. Oh. And watching them grow up and adoring Aunt Donna, of course, just what made me want to write for them. I, I saw how carefree mm -hmm. and um, innocent and full of life they were. Mm -hmm. And I wanted them to know God's word through stories that I could make up to tell them. Well, I would like for you to share one last thing with our viewers today. If they have an interest in writing professionally, what steps should they take? Go to writer's conferences, for one thing, like this, this wonderful conference, the Speak Up Conference. Um, the Christian Writers' Conferences are just spectacular, and people are there to really help you. In addition, I would say read, read, and read more. They say reading is writing. 
And the more you read, the better writer you're going to be. Right on, my <laughs> friend. And I hope that you will take the time to go to Donna's website and uh, look up her book, Bink and Slinky's Arc Adventure. It actually received the Mom's Choice Award, and it is extraordinary from the writing to the beautifully done artwork. Thank you so much for being my guest. Thank you.